was goo y'all welcome back to the lab with another quest build i have a blueprint here for a hatch that can be an absolute solo dolo demon it could be a perfect complimentary piece for any squad and if you don't have some goons to run with you can bring this out to the wreck and really contribute in a plethora of different ways it doesn't really have any weaknesses it's an all-purpose player that has some really nice categories to impact the game without the ball in your hands with that being said, it has shades of Giannis, Josh Smith, and Sean Marion. This is the 6'10 glass cleaning playmaker. Eww! I've only seen this build at 6'9 and smaller. This 6'10 version is going to be absolutely gruesome in the right hands. It's going to be a bigger, longer, more menacing. 3, 4, 5 version than some of the other Peanuts and Cellar 6 that you might have run into. Similar to the players mentioned, Sean Marion, Josh Smooth, Giannis, all those dudes can absolutely dominate a game without having to have the pill in their hands at all times. They don't necessarily need to manufacture points in the ISO. They can score off ball, play defense, guard multiple positions, rebound, get out in transition, and just really be a great complimentary piece to a lot of scoring minded type players in this era. With a lot of styles dominating the three point line, this thing can be an off ball slasher. It can be a pick and pop build. Basically, if you're running on this build, you can have fun no matter the circumstances, which is why I call it a solo dolo demon. So let's jump right into it. You're gonna be a power forward to get this name. You're gonna be six foot 10, 212 pounds. That's gonna be Kroosh with a max seven, eight wingspan. And you know we're going body shape built because we wanna look menacing on the wood. No matter where you play on this build, you wanna strike fear in your opponent. And we don't wanna look like a snack on the food platter tray next to grandma's cookies needing some milk. So follow along to a T to get this name and then tinker at your own discretion in your builder. At the end of the day, it's your build. You can do whatever you want. I like to say that because don't hold me accountable for some of the specs that you want to tinker with. Everyone has their own play style and philosophical approach to the builder, but I'm going to take you through some of these specs to get this name and bring you a nice, well-rounded variant. Starting off with Close Shot, we're going to get that to a 76. A lot of these are going to be badge thrushes trying to ooze out the potential of the build. We're going to get our driving layup to a 75. We're going to get our driving dunk to a 76. And then on this blueprint at 6'10", we want to maximize the capabilities over 6'9". So we're going to get our standing dunk to a 90. If you're going to be making a 6'10 version of this build, you might as well try to take advantage of those elite big man contact dunks. We are going to be punting post control on this build. That's going to give us 18 finishing badges. You can up one on your close shot to get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer if you want that. You can go to 79 on the driving dunk to get that silver limitless takeoff. You're going to be a nice off ball option on this build and when you do find yourself under the cup, you know, grabbing an offensive rebound or just diving to the rim, you're going to be able to put bodies in some bags. And having gold rise up, you're really going to be finishing amongst the trees. And then going on to shooting, we're going to have a 73 mid-range, which I feel rather comfortable on. If you know your jump shot timing, I think the attributes in the 70s isn't going to make a huge difference. That's also going to give you that gold midi magish. But then we're going to get our three ball to a 78. Again, if you're nice behind the sticks and you know how to shoot in this game, you're going to be just fine with those mid-70s attributes. Then we're going to get our free throw to a 75 because when you do get fouled, you want to be able to go to the line, knock free throws down, and help out your teammates. Don't want to be a liability there. 17 shooting badges with the gold claymore, gold volume shooter, Hall of Fame slippery off ball. You're going to be a capable shooter, which is technically the weakness on this build because playmaking, this build goes bananas. We're going to get our pass axi to an 85. Might I suggest trying to get to an 86 to get that gold needle threader, Hall of Fame break starter, and Hall of Fame floor general. But we're going to go 85 on this build because it's going to be a badge thresh. And then we're going to max out our ball handle and max out our speed with ball. That's going to be very crucial to get the playmaker name at 610. That's going to give us 20 playmaking badges. You don't necessarily need the ball in your hands to be effective on this build. But when you do get it, you're going to be able to dart up all your teammates on the wood. It's a very nice nerf gun in the right hands. And you can allocate some nice Hall of Fame tier 3 badges with that dimer or post play. So if you do want to tinker the play style and really attack the offensive glass, Hall of Fame post playmaker could be a nice auto hashtag team kick out. You're not trying to score on this build necessarily. You're trying to get your teammates involved and that could really be contagious. And glass cleaning playmaker name. You're going to have a lot of potential in the playmaking categories on this build. But defensively, this is where the build actually really shines. 
we're going to get our interior defense to a 74, get our perimeter defense to a 74, get our steelies almost maxed out to an 82, that's going to be a badge thresh, get your block to a 78, and then max out your defense rebounds, and then get your offense rebounds to an 89. That's going to be 28 defensive badges. I think on my original blueprint in finding this name at 610, I went with a 93 block to give us that gold anchor badge, which would make it even more menacing down low when guarding opposing bigs. But I wanted to drop that block to a 78 to allocate a little bit different elsewhere to get that standing dunk to a 90 to make the physicals a little bit more imposing. But 28 defensive badges is going to be plenty enough. Gold rebound chaser gold chase down, gold workhorse. You're going to be a menace on the glass. You can guard one through five at 6'10 with a max wing. You're going to impact the game on defense no matter who you're playing with. You can definitely allocate more attributes on the defensive side of the ball, but if you up the interior D a little bit too high, it can change the name. So you might want to just allocate towards block if you want to prioritize defense on this build. But physically, we're going to get our speed to a 70, get our acceleration to a 70 as well one atch on the strength to an even 50 get our vertical to a 75 because we want those big man contact dunks and then put the rest on stamina to an 87 so giving this build a once over 18 finishing 17 shooting 20 playmaking and 28 defensive badges some of the main things to get this name would be don't go too high on the shooting have your playmaking ball handle and speed with ball maxed out with these specs get your pass actually over an 80 don't go too high on the interior d you want high rebounding and then physically, you can do whatever you want. And then from a playstyle standpoint, you might want to lower the standing dunk if that's not in your price range. You might want to allocate more towards block. You might want to add a post control to this build, which could actually make it more of an offensively inclined player. You might want to maximize shooting, or you can even make this more well-rounded and make it more of a jack-of-all-trades. But this blueprint with these specs specifically is going to give you the name Glass Cleaning Playmaker. Going on to TakeOver, one of the cool things on this build is you get Shot Creator, Shooting, Playmaking, and Rebounding Take. I like going box that wall and then you know doing something crazy with making this a Shot Creator. Like I said, tinker at your own discretion, but a 6'10 Max Wing Glass Cleaning Playmaker is going to be extremely rare. And there you have it, glass cleaning playmaker. I have not seen a six foot ten glass cleaning playmaker anywhere in the city while playing 2K23 thus far. This thing could be absolutely underrated, but a phenomenal chess piece for any squad. Something that's straight out of an ABCD camp of the late 90s, early 2000s that has the pedigree of those high-flying high school phenoms that might not have the scoring-minded prowess once they make it to the league, but they can impact the game in so many different ways. I really think that anyone who plays on this build will have fun no matter what the circumstances. I really like making these solo dolo type builds. What do you guys think of this blueprint? What would you tinker and what kind of playstyle do you think fits best on a build like this? Let me know in the comments because you know what time it is. Quest Sparrow.